Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is your host Nas. Today I'm going to share something different from my regular ghost story. It will be something about amulets, high amulet to be precise. And it's about how to differentiate between barang and orthodox amulet. Before that, disclaimer, I'm not an expert in this field of study, nor do I claim that I'm one. All information provided here are based on research that I have done through online. If any discrepancy found, please feel free to correct me and let me know about it. This content is created for knowledge sharing for those that have great interest in Thai amulets. There are different types of Thai amulet in the current market and the difference is what are the ingredients that are being used. In Chinese, barang means in Thai and barang actually means item in Malay and is a term used in Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. Barang amulet are usually consecrated with human ashes, bone, corpse oil, hair, cemetery soil, coffin nail, and things that usually have to do with human remains. There are even human parts being used, like skull. Where else? Orthodox amulet, which is called Zheng Pai in Chinese. They are consecrated using holy materials, temple soil, plant oil, holy metals, and anything holy related. Both types of amulets are blessed by masters through Vika for many days to achieve the desired effects of the different types of Thai amulets. So why do people want to get amulets in the first place? It's because of the blessings that it provides. There are a plethora of blessings applies to both Barang and Orthodox amulets. Business, monetary windfall, fortune, better people's relation, remove backstabbers from life, protection from negative evil energy and black magic, enhance charm and attraction, improve luck and fortune, improve sixth sense, wish fulfilling, remove negative people from your life, for good health, better and convincing speech, increase popularity, the list go on. You get the gist. These are things that people find that it is probably necessary in their life. So why do Barang Amulet exist? The history of Barang Amulet. The main reason Barang Amulet existed was due to masters wanting to help the spirit that could not reincarnate the usual way due to unnatural death, suicide and anything along the line. To enable this spirit to reincarnate or to cultivate the right path, the master would ask this fee if they will be willing to accept being consecrated into an amulet and gain beneficial contribution to their reincarnation path through helping people. Of course, there are those spirits that are forcefully consecrated unwillingly, as we all know, forcefully pick melon, sarin, sweet. This is something you have to be careful about when buying a barang amulet, and also the reason why there are barang amulet that could backfire. I would strongly suggest not to buy any if you don't know the origin or the master who consecrated it. I'll make another video about barang amulets in the future to share what I have learned from my research. Alright, so why do people prefer barang over the orthodox amulet? It is claimed to have a faster effect of rich granting than its counterpart of orthodox amulet. However, it is not without its negative impact of faster wish granting. Usually it comes in the form of an offering, while an orthodox amulet does not need it. There are cases of barang amulet backfiring on its owner due to misusage as well, as not returning an offering promise. In short, if your concept of getting a barang amulet is to get something out of ordinarily, be prepared to pay a big price for your wish. Ideally, one should not be over greedy and should have the right mindset when owning a barang amulet as it is created to help the spirit that resides in it to gain good contribution so that it can be reincarnated. Next time, I will share some story about the barang amulet that backfire. I hope you guys like this content. I created this topic regarding to Thai amulets as there is limited English content for it. The purpose of this sharing is to educate that there is a difference between a barang and orthodox amulet. So before you purchase any amulet, do make sure you check. I'll be doing more content related to Thai amulets besides paranormal stories. I hope you like it and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit on the notification bell. Thank you.